In your journey as a filmmaker, tell me this. Have you ever looked at a piece of equipment and thought, I'm not going to use that. What's the purpose? Come on, admit it. I got my hand up. I'm one of those people. And then something happens and you completely change your mind. Well, it's time to fess up. For the past few weeks, I've been trying out a new piece of gear, a camera saddle. I reached out to Focus Rat and said, hey, I wanna try your bag. They sent me a bag and I paid for the shipping from Romania. Okay, this is the part where we have to talk about a few things before I continue. Before you start commenting down below. Sure, maybe you could try just a regular shoulder bag or a pillow. It's just not the best impression to make in front of a client. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for DIY, but there's a place for it and there's not a place for it. So if you don't think a camera saddle is a professional piece of gear, then you might want to stop watching now. Let's get back to the video for those of you who are intrigued by a camera saddle. This bag is personally made by a small team of creators in Romania. My preferred setup for using this is slinging it over one shoulder and having it a little bit more off to the side. For those times when I lift my camera off the bag, I can put my elbow into the bag and it gives me another point of stability. You can also put it around your neck, but I don't like that as much because of the strain it causes on your neck for a long day. What really stood out on the Focus Rat is just the quality. They didn't skimp on the shoulder strap like I've seen in other ones. They've got these loops here for a car mount of some sort. It's got extra pockets on the sides if you want to put filters or SD cards or whatever you want. The quality is just really exceptional on this. The buckles are all solid metal, not plastic, and they really look like they're good. The bottom has this tough fabric that's going to be rugged. I know it's going to last. And even the outside Cordura is a heavy duty quality. It's not some cheap $10 bag that you get on some marketplace somewhere. Anyone who's tried a camera saddle knows all about the comfort level of using one of these. It just feels so easy to use. I would feel comfortable leaving my tripod sometimes and just using this because it's just so stable. And you can use it in different ways too and take it off and just use it at ground level. It can just go from one use to another use really quickly. Like here, I can use it more as a swing to get that really steady motion. And of course, if I'm really tired, I would feel comfortable just letting it sit on the bag. I find it's also helping me concentrate on my filmmaking rather than worrying about my hands moving when I'm just filming straight handheld. And for me as a nature filmmaker, it means my camera's in a position and I'm always ready for the next shot. I'll be doing another review later this year on the camera saddle. I'll be using it to shoot a major documentary coming up. But I can already tell this is going to make my workday a lot easier, balancing that weight for me. After using it for just a few weeks with my BMPCC 4K, I can already see how this is going to work for run and gun. This is perfect for those times when I'm in the field and I have to keep pace with biologists. It also just looks professional and we can talk about this all we want, but when you're dealing with customers and the budget for a project is X amount of dollars, you're not going to show up with a pillow. You've probably noticed that I haven't come out and said you need a focus rat camera saddle. Everybody is at a different point in their filmmaking journey and what you need. I would say this though, don't knock a camera saddle until you've tried it. Now that I've tried one, I can definitely see the value and I wish I had one years ago.